reverse scarf to kill that underhook, and then go for the Kimura. Right? We're trying to finish the fight, we're trying to end it. We're not trying to mess around with it. We're not playing for position. Okay? MMA, you know, no points tournaments, submission only tournaments. A lot of times, I'm not so much worried about position, especially once they're already tired. I want to finish the fight, so I'm going for that Kimura. Or, if you like more, right? A little bit stronger move, sometimes. Gives us some other options, but instead, we're going to take the easy, we're going to take the easy route this time. Okay, let's we'll start with the hard one, then go to the easy one. So, I did a pass, got to my side control, Billy gets his underhook. I'm killing that underhook, keep my knee tight, lock the hip, and I sit through. Alright, I'm over the shoulder instead of under. Okay, this time, as I start to peel that elbow, he knows what I'm going for. I'm just going to take that leg. See how he locked his hands around my body? Yeah, this is one you'll get a lot of times from people here. Is that they'll, they know that you're trying to attack this arm, and I'm not going to waste time trying to peel that away. As soon as I feel his hands locked, okay, I'm going to shrimp away a little bit so that he starts to chase me. As soon as he chases me, I'm going to take my outside leg, block his knee towards me, and step over in the mouth. So I get him chasing me, and then I smoosh his legs to the ground. I spend all that time. Or I use that effort trying to turn his knees away, right? I'm pushing him away to control his hips. As soon as he locks his hands, I'm not going to waste time trying to fight his Kimura anymore. All right, if you got a good Kimura, you like that position, you're familiar with it, and you're confident in it, then that's fine. Then I can spend the time working on breaking that grip. But instead, he locks those hands. As soon as I feel that, up, oh, I'm going to let him start fighting back into me. He turns his legs, I curl. All right? And I'm not just kicking my leg over, right? I'm not just going, nah, big kick, and flopping. See how my leg's behind me? It's just sitting out there. If I do this, as I come up in the mount, he's just going to escape out the other side. So I've got to be aware of that. Make sense? I know, that's a great sport. As I step over, I'm actually hooking my heel on his leg. All right? And I, as I pull, I'm sucking my back knee up into his armpit. Not just turning my belly to the ground and leaving it behind. I'm pulling it with me so that he can't hook my leg. Make sense? I'm up in a nice high mount. I'm underneath his elbows so he can't immediately shrimp out. And then I can start working my way up, poking him in the eyes, isolating his elbows. Just kidding about the eyes. Any questions? So, person on the bottom, as they sit up to reverse scarf, Lock your hands around their waist. Okay, then person on the top, go from pushing the knee to pulling it, smush their legs to the ground, whoop, and then push the back of the leg, pull yourself in the mouth. Cool? All right, one, two, three.